In massive oscillators, you have here the foundation of sound, the wave tables. These are audio samples that carry a certain wave shape that gives you a particular sound. The advantage in having a wave table as a generator is that you can have a much more complex sound as a starting point than in other usual synthesizers such as subtractive ones. Maybe one downside is that you can't easily tell how this wave table sounds like. But why would you choose one over another? But I'll try to shed a line of this. When you open the wavetable list by clicking here, you can see that they are organized in five columns. The A, basic, analog electric, digital hybrid, FX scores. The A stands for virtual analog. It means this way to try to emulate the behavior of an analog synthesizer. This allows you to control the wave of a pulse wave modulator or the pitch of a synced wave, just like in a real subtracted synthesizer. In the basic column, you have wave shapes that have been taken from subtracted and additive synthesis. You can tell that because there is a logic in their harmonic structures. Either they are made of simple math rules or by musical intervals. Some are a little bit more complex using stacked polyphonic sounds or wider modulation between different wave tables, but they have the same foundation. Both BA and basic columns contain the waves you should look for when building classic synth instruments. Strings, brass, flutes, mallets, super saw, square leads, classic electro basses, and so on. Now about the two next columns, analog electric and digital hybrid, they have one thing in common and another that makes them opposites. The one thing they share is that they are mainly based on distorted waves, so they have more complex and less predictable harmonic structure than those in the basic list. What makes them opposites is the fact that the methods applied to distort them remind you of those caused by analog devices for the first, such as valves, transistors, tape saturation, amps, pedals, and what digital means for the later like downsampling, quantization, jittering, aliasing. That's where the names digital and analog come from. The analog section has some wave tables that still use for classic tempos, but with warmer or vintage sound. Also, if you want more aggressive instruments, like distorted leads, heavy electric bass, or acid sounds, this is a good place to look for. The digital section is good to get sounds that taste like FM and granular synthesis, modern dubstep instruments, digital quantized sounds, vocal light and metallic timbres. For the FX chords column, we're going to see later in depth what each of the wave tables does, because they're just a few and very different one from another. So, see you on the next video.